Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video in collaboration with my good friend Mariam. You can find her on YouTube as Mariam A and on Instagram as Long Live Makeup. We are both experts here in the Netherlands and we met via Instagram and YouTube and have so much in common. We hit it off so well. I am happy to call her my friend. You've seen her on my channel before when also our friend Meg was here and we filmed together. And this time Mariam suggested that we shared our favorite spring and summer lipsticks. And I was all over this. It's nice weather. It's Easter today as I'm filming. So I'm just excited to share the lipsticks that make me feel like spring, like happiness, like... Um, I don't know, just happy. Overall, we all need a little bit of bright, uh, brightness and happiness in our lives. And um, I have a lot of the lipsticks. I have a lot of the lipsticks. But first, watch this video, then remember to go and check out Mariam's video. All her links will be in the description box. And uh, yeah, let's get started. I have divided my favorite spring and summer lipsticks in categories, four different categories, five lipstick each. I didn't even count them to be that. I just pulled all of my favorites out and this is what came out of it. I'm gonna start with what I am wearing right now, which is a sheer lipstick from the Sephora collection Shine line. These are super nice, very, very shiny. They look a little bit like there's uh, a glitter in it, but they're not metallic, they're just the shine is incredible. I hope you can see it. I've had this now on for an hour or so. It's so beautiful and shiny. And this guy right here specifically is a bright coral. I think the shade is number three. I'll put the links in the description though because they have the tiniest shade number and no name. So I'm just gonna put it in the description box. From the same line, I also have a nude which I really like. And this is like my real minimum makeup type of um, lipstick. Shiny nude, mascara, out the door. Not really, not out the door today these days, but you know, done for, <laughs> ready for the day. And these are really good, they're inexpensive, they're around 12 euros, and they're just really great lipsticks for, um, just for a sheer lipstick. Other option, and the next three lipsticks are instead MAC Luster. Um, formulas and I never thought I would like my cluster or sheer lipsticks for that matter because I'm like if I want a lipstick I want it there and I want it to stay there instead <laughs> I've been loving them and I have three of them more of a pinky tone is the shade lustering mine is very old I want it in a giveaway from the blogger Bea in a strawberry makeup bag she you can see her lipstick I want you can see her blog um, I want it in a giveaway a pretty sheer Pink, very cute, very fresh. I feel like pinks are very fresh, very spring. Then a favorite that uh, has been featured on this channel before is the shade Good Form, which is a better, um, it's a better shade for my complexion and my coloring. In uh, color theory, I am a deep autumn, which means I need high contrast and neutral, um, neutral to warm undertones uh, of shades. And this is, a perfect daytime shade because it really colors the lips a little bit more and it's not as brown as in the tube. Really gorgeous. And the last baby in this family is the shade Good Form. I showed you this recently because I just got it uh, from Douglas uh, when they had a 25% off sale. And uh, it's this shade here, it's a bit more burnt sienna uh, burnt orange type of shade and a little bit brighter still beautiful sheer lipsticks for spring and summer are my thing my jam they're effortless you don't have to think about them going anywhere they're really really nice next up is glosses and i took my lipstick off because i want to show you one of each category and uh, I'm gonna start with my Neve Cosmetics glosses so I can <laughs> apply them directly. I'm gonna wear Oriental Poppies and these are some of my favorite favorite glosses. Mm. 
as you can see oriental poppies looks like a very bright um, red or like corally red gloss but it's a little bit sheer these glosses last a long long time they're um, I don't know they cling to the lips a little bit better they're not sticky though they're not thick they apply the right amount and there's different formulas in there so oriental poppies is a little bit more sheer but I love it for uh, spring and summer then I have the shade mad tea party which instead is more has more coverage as you can see and it is a more pink toned coral and this one also springs no screams spring <laughs> spring scream scream spring for me i love this um this gloss i hope you can see the difference between the two shades i can and then i have a nude one which i really really like to wear on top of um lip pencils in summer and this is also a nice coverage one and it's tiger in a tropical storm and you can see it's a very warm nude but this level is my nudes so uh, if i wear anything lighter i look really washed out again because of the color theory thing so i can definitely recommend the neve cosmetics uh, glosses love these then another gloss that i can't stop talking about it since i bought it this I saw from Samantha Ravendall on her channel a few years ago. This is the Lancome L'Absolute La Lacquer in 515. Uh, I think it's called Be Happy. And this is a much more orange toned uh, gloss. And this one is a much lighter and more fluid type of a consistency and it leaves behind a stain. So. I love to um, take this with me and I can reapply and this one lasts, uh, the gloss lasts less but you have a stain left behind. These are really great. If only they came out with better shades because um, I find that this one is the only one that I'd want to wear. Uh, the rest are just not interesting. Maybe a red is nice but I don't wear red gloss somehow. If I wear red, I wear red lipstick, you'll see it later. But I really love this shade. It's perfect for spring and summer. I really, really like it. Final gloss is this from Pixie and Chloe Morello in the shade Lip Icing Cake. And you can see it's actually quite well loved. I like it because it has these pink and copper and gold glitters in there and make it a super reflecting, very fun lip gloss. I think it does, it, I don't know, it does so good for the lips. It gives you a little bit of a duochrome sheen, but it's not metallic. It's really, really nice. And I wanted to add this one here. This one also is beautiful on any of the lipsticks, but also just by itself or on top of a lip liner in my case, because I always need a little bit of definition on my lips. So those were the glosses. I feel like I'm marathoning through it or sprinting through these like going quickly I mean <laughs> but um, we are, can now move on to the full-on lipsticks full-on lipsticks let's start with the shade that you guys already know and you've seen me use in my latest get ready with me this is the shade stay curious in the MAC powder kiss formula and this is the perfect wearable coral it's very I don't know, flattering on the skin. It's, it looks really good. It doesn't look too bright. It's not too um, in your face. It's a muted coral. It works really well, lasts well. It was also featured in my, uh, if I could only keep 10 uh, lipsticks. I just love this shade and I wear it really, really often in spring and summer. Then I wanna go in with something that I'm gonna also put on my lips. And this is a, the opposite. This is a neon <laughs> lipstick. This is the shade Trapeze by Colourpop and this is what it looks like. Here we go, a quick application but this is summer in a lipstick. I love it, it's so bright, it's so fun. It's on the limit for me because you can really see that there's a little bit of white in there that um, takes over the, the whole thing, the whole look from me. So it doesn't look wonderful, but I don't care. <laughs> this is one of these shades that is um, hmm, on my teeth again and is a power shade and it's just 
really really fun I've had a discussion about these uh, bright oranges before I think last year or during my declutter and um, this one is the one that survived because it's a little bit deeper and has less of that neon quality that doesn't look very good on me so I love this it's so bright and so fun you'll see later in my liquid lipsticks I have something that tops it off in uh, in terms of how I like corally or like bright orangey reds to look but this one right here is stunning now another lipstick that definitely um, takes over the show is Mulak Cosmetics Crazy Like a Fox oh I didn't swatch trapeze on my hands here we go here it is um, Mulak Cosmetics Crazy Like a Fox is a red and you'd say well big thing but this is a looks like a deep red on the lips it's like bam in your face it looks so good it looks really dark here maybe I should put that one on actually The application is what it is you guys you'll have to uh, pardon me <laughs> but you can see how in your face it is I love it it if you look at it like this it's one thing but on the face it looks so strong and and my favorite way of wearing this is in summer with a tan after the beach I just throw on a colorful dress some mascara and this lipstick and I'm like I can conquer the world so this definitely falls into some of my favorites the formula of these they, it's fragranced so that is something that you can decide yourself it doesn't really bother me I actually like the uh, fragrance in these lipsticks but it's a little bit hard so it reminds me a bit of uh, like MAC retro mattes much uh, much more comfortable on the lips but it's a difficult one to spread then uh, we continue with something maybe a little bit more subdued and that is Gold Digger by Colourpop. This is the lipstick version of Bumble, the liquid lipsticks. Um, I don't have Bumble because I have this one and it's much more comfortable. It's a muted rosy tone nude, very pretty, um, a very nice nude in all seasons but it's a very I don't know it's a very put together spring but not too much like I'm wearing pink but not really very nice color and then finally the pink that you know you're wearing pink and this is a discovery from last year it's the shade runaway run away or runway run away it's a matte X by Colourpop and it is in your face fuchsia not neon though like that is the main you can see the different quality of color between the trapeze and between runaway and runaway looks so much better on me i wish i could find something like this in a more orangey shade um love this it's so beautiful i there's like special occasions for it, like the good right dress and the right makeup but this is one of my favorite summer lipsticks final category and it's a final category because otherwise I wouldn't be able to remove anything anymore my lips are getting sore or more it's like they just don't look good liquid lipsticks now let's start with the lighter one I don't really wear light lipsticks however there's a time in spring where this lipstick it's the shade Misses by Colourpop I think it's an ultra satin lip yes um, it's a pinky nude with a little bit of depth it actually is gone bad <laughs> that was very sad anyways I love it but I'm gonna have to repurchase it um, this is a very nice shade that actually on me looks a bit too light when I put it on my lips but I love to wear in spring and summer it's not an everyday type of shade I'm not gonna uh, or I can show it to you on my lips even though it's off you can see it's very similar to the color of my lips so this makes me look quite washed out but there is a space and time for this in spring and summer I like it it looks really fun and uh, yeah something that I like to wear 
I'll have to repurchase it. That goes in the empties basket. Next up is the shade of lipstick I wore at my first wedding. If you don't know the story, you, I'll link a video up here, but I got married twice. Once I was getting married and the second one was a wedding party. So same man, no divorce in between. <laughs> but uh, This one was the one I wore the first time. It was just our families and uh, I wore a Ted Baker mint green, very, very light mint green dress and I wanted something spring. It was the beginning of May, um, the 9th of May specifically. I wanted something spring. So I wore this guy right here from Sephora collection. This is the shade 03 in their lip stains. This formula is incredible. Like if you need a liquid lipstick color, they have hundreds or maybe 100, not hundreds. They have a hundred. Um, they have all the undertones. They have amazing formula. I don't know. I can't speak highly enough of these and this guy right here is the number three it's a pinky bright pink color love it love it next up is the red do i need to tell you uncensored i love wearing red in spring and summer it's like the red blue and white type thing sailor style i love it um i've been doing that forever and uh Fenty Uncensored is my red, my go-to red. I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I talk about it all the time. In every single lipstick video, we're talking about this red lipstick. So just know I love it and it's beautiful in spring and summer. Then um, a new one, but that I'm already super, super in love is Kiki Koro by Mulak Cosmetics. This is one of their liquid lipsticks. I think they're called Velvet Ink. Is it called Velvet Ink? Yes. And this one here is a bright, warm orangey cor coral and you can see how beautiful and bright it is this is the shade that i think is taking over tra from trapeze for me because trapeze as i said has a little bit of this neon quality that is very difficult to wear for me but i love the color so much and this one instead is really it has the depth that i need to look good on me and uh, it has still that bright and orangey feel to it so kiki coral by mulak and the final shade is also by Mula Cosmetics and it's the shade Potter's Clay. And this is just a typical Alice shade, right? It's just a orangey terracotta shade. Um, this was in the old packaging, as you can see, actually. There, that's the old packaging. This is, on, is the new one. And I saw this, I tried this out when I was at Julia's, actually the other one as well. Uh, my friend Julia that you met in my shop, my stash of this month, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. She was actually in the video. Um, and uh, this guy right here is a very orange toned, um, yeah, burnt orange. It's really, really pretty. Very, um, I don't know, I, it's not a fall shade. Uh, to me, it's like, it's the color of corn. It's like, it's very nice. Also, what corn is orange? Anyways, it reminds me of like the end of summer. It's an August color. Let's put it that way. So these are the final five shades of my favorite spring and summer lipsticks. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this whole time. I hope uh, I gave you tips and ideas for lipsticks that you're gonna wear when we can leave the house again or just at your house to feel like empowered and awesome. That is the power of makeup for you or for me at least. <laughs> And don't forget to check out Mariam's video. It will be linked in the end cards as well as in the description box. Go check her out. She's lovely, smart, has amazing taste in makeup and does really, really good colorful eyeshadow. So uh, go check her out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Hi. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.